Hassan in Slough. Hassan. Hi, hi, David. Hi. Um, yes, I, I am a Conservative member. I uh, was well, since 1992, but I, I did stand for Parliament in 2005 against uh, Dennis Skinner, which was a, a lovely experience. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> Good old Dennis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, what a character to stand against. Um, yes, yes. I mean, he was known as a beast of Balto, but, but when I got to know him, he's certainly a teddy bear and is uh, one of the very few Labour MPs I do respect. Very good. Um, He's a lovely guy, actually, Dennis. Really lovely guy. Mm, um, yeah, he is. Now, Hassan, who are you backing? Who do you want to replace Boris? So I'll be backing uh, Rishi Sunak um, for various reasons. And so I, I was impressed with um, uh, his, his uh, policies during the uh, last two years in time to trying to protect peop uh, people in terms of their jobs, uh, the furlough scheme, um, working with Boris, uh, overseeing the vaccine uh, rollout. One thing that really did strike me with Rishi and... Go on, carry on, carry on. So, yeah, carry on. So, so when I visited, the first time I visited Downing Street was last year. I was uh, going to be with one of the advisors, the Prime Minister, and I was waiting in the narrow corridor between number 11 and number 10, and then early morning, so 8 o'clock, and then Rishi soon actually sort of walks past me. <laughs> I was going to introduce myself to him. But I thought, no, better not, because he was so engrossed in reading his papers as he was walking past, obviously trying to turn the economy around. And I thought, wow, what dedication. I mean, who actually does that uh, in the early morning, walking from one place to another, actually reading, fully engrossed? It's a very small example, but for me, that was a really quite a big impact. Um, Hassan, so I've got to say, but, but let's yeah, just... Sure. His wife's tax affairs, he's a billionaire. Hmm. Um... He was a Remainer, wasn't he? Because um, he was very yeah. key, close to the Cameroonians previously, so I suspect he was a Remainer. Um, and look, his background... Let me just play you a clip of Rishi Sunak speaking a few years ago um, that I tweeted earlier today. Let me just play you this clip, Hassan. I have friends who are aristocrats, I have friends who are upper class, I have friends who are, you know, working class, but I'm not working class. Can somebody who doesn't have friends who's working class, mm. who's a billionaire, um, in a cost of living crisis, will the Conservative Party really in the end... T uh, I suspect that Conservative members, but you tell me, I spoke to a Conservative MP and he said we'll be looking for someone who's clean, i.e. Mm. got no skeletons in their closet, is almost the opposite of Boris Johnson. We'll be looking for someone who's bright. I think Rishi Sunak definitely ticks that box. Um, whatever I feel about him, he's, he's definitely always come across to me as been someone who's a, who's a bright kind of person. Um, we'll be looking for someone who's a Brexiteer. I don't think he ticks that box. Mm. Um, and we'll be looking for someone who has demonstrated courage and has political smarts. And again, I've always found Rishi Sunak a little bit thin-skinned in the sense of... Uh, politicians who haven't actually been in politics that long and when we I look back Rishi Sunak came in in 2015 he's not actually been in frontline politics that long I don't say he can't become leader in that but he's a little bit thin-skinned what do you think Hassan? It's, it's an interesting insight and um, I mean you've made a lot, a lot of good, good points so regarding his wife yeah I can't answer that that is a negative point uh, you're right um, in terms of his view on Europe, I, I suppose his views would be the same as my views, because I vote, I am a Remainer, I did vote for, uh, again, a vote no, sorry, vote yes in the referendum. Uh, someone's just sorry. said to me, someone's tweeted, Sunak is most certainly a Brexiteer. We've got to get to the bottom of this, I'm afraid, I, 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 I don't actually, did he vote for, was he a Brexiteer or not? Which side of the debate was he on? I don't know, actually. Don't know. Yeah, out. yeah, uh, yeah. Know, yeah. I'll get it. My research will tell me whilst I'm on that. <laughs> you know, I can't keep up with the, you know, the various... Um, someone else is saying, and Waltham so Lizzie's saying she's fairly sure he's a Brexiteer. Um, so, Hassan, you can see that there are some weaknesses. There are some weaknesses. I mean, I... Well, I the, the biggest one... Uh, sorry, David. Uh, I mean, the biggest one you, you, you did point out, uh, which a lot of people have commented on when I watched it, his Facebook um, video and then the comment section that he's a multi-millionaire, um, so he doesn't, he's out of touch with real people. Now, I, I have uh, strong reservations about that because he, in terms of real people, he came from the background of real people, uh, immigrants who worked hard 
uh, came from a you know challenged background, but worked hard, sacrificed so that the next generations could succeed. And that is exactly what we need to replicate throughout the country, I, I believe. So that is a success story that can be re- repl- replicated. So I don't think that's a weakness uh, on his part. Um, it's uh, ca- certainly, not, it's certainly, well. certainly not a weakness, but it is perhaps a weakness if you, you know, <sighs> he's an immigrant, but he's backing this Rwanda policy. Um, he's an immigrant that turns around and says things like he didn't have working class friends is the problem. Let's just be clear that he was a Brexiteer. He did vote leave. Um, uh, someone's saying read the Chim, Tip, Shim, Tim Shipman book, but my researcher has confirmed that he was absolutely a Brexiteer. Forgive me for not knowing. I can't keep up with the minutiae of conservative politicians and who voted what when. He, uh, he has the appearance of someone who might have been on the Remain side, um, but in fact, he was a Brexiteer. And I have to say, the fact that he was a Brexiteer does make me think more seriously about his prospects at becoming leader, because it's my instinct, my hunch, that the next leader of the Conservative Party will have been a Brexiteer. I don't think the membership of the Conservative Party has moved beyond instinctively voting for someone who is a Brexiteer. So the question will be for them, does his tax affairs, does his uh, billionaire status in a cost of living crisis, is that an asset or is that a weakness? That's what I think they'll be calculating. Um, But the fact that he's a Brexiteer, I suspect, actually is going to do him quite well. Hassan, am I right or wrong? I think you're right in your analysis. I'll I'll still push back on the billionaire thing because although he said in in your clip you played that he doesn't have working class friends. I mean, his background is actually working class. If we look at his friends, friends all generation, but then they succeeded. And that's exactly what we need to replicate. So I suppose we could look at it both ways. It's a double-edged sword. Um, Well, they succeeded uh, pretty quickly if he was going to, where did he go to Winchester, was it? Yeah, he went to Winchester. Yeah, Yeah, he went to Winchester, what, age 13, so... They weren't poor for very long. Yeah, exactly, long. and that, that should not be... A, a oh, no, I mean, that's fine. I'm just saying that to send your child to Winchester, I mean, this, mm. is, not, this is not a small amount of money. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and, you know, there are Labour politici- politicians who did attend Oxford University. And, 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 I, I, yeah, and I've always said that I, you don't judge someone for where they end up going to school. Mm. That's absolutely fine. But unfortunately, he did say he didn't have any working class friends. I don't think that's great. Hassan, thank you for calling in again. Please call in another time. I'm very, very grateful. Tony and